First of all, you put in your number, mm -hmm. and it brings you up some questions. Healthy heart history. You hit a healthy heart. Well, I've got heart disease. Um, heart failure, it's called. Um, I've got various other illnesses, but the heart failure is fairly new in as much as it's two years old. Well, I've learned enough about my condition to know that one of the things I've got to do is take my blood pressure every day. I must know what weight I am and to notice whether or not I need to go to the doctor for water tablets. If my blood pressure is going up and whether or not I need to go and see a doctor. Um, these are the things it's taught me. How to be self-sufficient. My name's uh, Grim Murray, I'm 57 now, um, I work in IT. For the last 5, 10, 15 years I've been working away from home, um, both in UK, Europe and Southeast Asia. You know, the primary aim is very much to make sure that the medicines aren't having any adverse reaction, um, but the secondary effect is very much um, giving me the confidence that I actually am I'm, I'm well, you know, blood pressure doesn't limit its pulses, when it limits my weight's not shooting up or down. My heart nurse comes once a month instead of the once a week that I originally started as. Um, we find it very, very good in as much as she doesn't have to be in sight to monitor me. She can pick up a telephone or send me a message on my telehealth. For me to do what I do, I have to be able to go to where the work is. Um, so I guess my, my key concern there and when I heard that I would have to get bloods taken, have to get um, monitored um, on blood pressure was the whole life would have to change. The flooring system, I could actually self-monitor, text in and be anywhere. Um, that was just a massive weight off my mind. Well, it's made it easier for me to understand why my weight is so important, to understand why my blood pressure is so important and to understand why my breathing and everything about my breathing is so important because you don't think about your breathing with your heart. It's explained a great deal about various parts of my illness and, and that has actually helped me with other illnesses because it's explained those to me as well. Um, I would get a text from Florence, Flo, um, the uh, evening before reminding me that the next day I should be doing my blood pressure and um, uh, also to, to check my weight um, and then either in the morning before I went to work or at about 11 o'clock when I actually got the text reminder. Um, I came off the, the actual Florence reporting um, a month or so ago um, but I still got the, the blood monitoring cuff. Um, and every couple of weeks, maybe every week, but usually every couple of weeks, I will actually just check it. And if I do anything extraordinary, like I've had a 12 or 13 hour flight, and the day after I'll just do a quick check just to make sure that nothing unusual has happened after the, the long flight or whatever. Because I visit the hospital for other things. It's one set of hospital visits I don't have to make. It's one set of not looking for a parking space. It's made my life so much easier and I find that I'm cared for much better with telehealth than I was prior to my telehealth.